This video is to go over case preparation for the 45 ACP case and most other handgun shell cases. Using the Hornady M2 case tumbler, Frankfurt Media Separator, Hornady Lock and Load Magnum Sonic Cleaner, Lee Pro 1000 Reloader. Before tumbling, I separate the cases from the other sizes like 9mm, 40 cal because the smaller cartridges plug up the larger cases. Here we start with the tumbler adding the 45 cases and the tumbler medium. Running the tumbler for about a half an hour to remove debris and carbon. On a side note the Hornady M2 case tumbler is new to me my Frankfurt tumbler actually died for unexplained reasons. Um, the nice features of the M2 case tumbler is a longer extension cord. It is uh, quieter. Uh, the cons are that the uh, mouth of it is actually smaller, so it's a little harder to pour brass and media out of it. Um, that was one advantage of the uh, Frankfurt. Beyond that, I'm so far very happy with the M2 case tumbler. Here we're using the Frankfurt media separator. Simple to use, simply just pour the media and the casings into the uh, unit. Um, button it up using a pin and then usually just rotating it until I feel that all the media st stopped coming out of it. Um, works effectively, inexpensive. After I've separated the cases from the media, I like you laying them flat on a nice flat working surface, inspecting the brass, looking for cracks, um, dings, anything that's not going to make them reloadable. Now I have the brass in the Hornady Magnum ultrasonic cleaner with a little bit of vinegar, drop of soap, some water. Usually run it at the highest temperature setting for about 20 minutes. On a side note, the Hornady Magnum sonic cleaner. I use this same cleaner to clean my 45s. Um, I strip them down, they will fit into pieces. The grip fan will fit in the basket at an angle um, and be completely submerged. I also use a little bit of the AquaClean and a whole bunch of water and it cleans them really nicely. After the 20 minutes of sonic cleaning is up, I usually take the basket, run it under cold water to let it rinse off any residue. I let the cases dry, flatten them out, then I usually load them into my Pro 1000 With the Lee Pro 1000 um, loading cases is easy, nice simple case feeder. Um, this light I got from Home Depot, it's simple LED light, uses three AAA batteries. I simply just remove the cases and inspect the primer pocket after every cycle by hand with my fingers obviously, being careful not to pinch my fingers. If a case gets past you while you're doing your pulling the brass, it's not a big deal. All you need to do is pull the handle down on the Lee Pro 1000 a little bit and then you can uh, rotate the turret towards you or whichever direction you need to go. As long as the handle's down a little bit, it's quite easy to manipulate the turret and then put it back into position. If the cases don't like going in, sometimes I just have to use my finger to flick them into the spot and they'll pop right in. 
what I'm looking for when I'm looking at the pockets, primer pockets. I'm looking to see if there's a small primer or a large primer. This particular piece of brass has a small primer pocket. Not something you want to find right in the middle reloading because it will give you all sorts of problems and potentially pop a primer while you're loading them. This is an example of the turret being full. And just simply turn, pulling the handle down a little bit, it's quite easily possible to manipulate the turret just simply with your finger. Very little pressure, very little work involved. After all the resizing and depriming is done, I uh, put the shell casings back in the sonic cleaner for another 20 minutes and then I let them dry overnight so they're nice and dry and ready for reloading after that. Another side note, any brass that I find that is damaged to where I do not want it to be used. I always crimp it to make it non-usable. <laughs> 